real audience cinema that's been shot for many many years so I'll go and get the I'll turn the camera around and get video footage and photos of that for you okay. so this is in the start leisure park and So this is just around the back of the, the old cinema. Oh, I do pick all the glamorous places to do my video and do that. So I don't know about the plan jar for this building, it's been shut. So if you want a shower, just uh, stand under there.
pipes are for the uh, ventilation cooling system for the projectors. The big trunk in there, that, uh, that'll be the air conditioning for the actual theatre. For the Log the progress of this uh, construction as well. So I'll have a before, during, and after. Hello all, um, just a wee update video, it's a garden where the old Audion Cinema used to be at the Dundee Start Leisure Park. It was uh, once, it stood there, the old Audion Cinema was there at one time, it was demolished and they built this new home bargains on the ground that it once stood on. So I've got video footage throughout, the, I've catalogued the demolition work, um, <clears throat> even got some footage last footage inside it before it was completely demolished and I've got footage of this building that replaced it being built just some footage uh, update videos and that I can compile it all into one video uh, this video so you'll get the sort of before 
during and after for this area. It's a bit of history for Dundee because I remember when they actually built the cinema back in uh, 1992, opened in 1993. It was on for about eight years, then it closed down in 2001. And then it remained derelict for about 20 years and then they finally just demolished it completely to make way for this new home bargain. <clears throat> there was a home bargain in the old Zap Zone. It was then changed to the Mega Bowl and eventually they split the building into two. Half of it's, I can't remember what it is, Aldi or something, and the other half is a home bargain. So they've, for some reason they've decided that they're going to build another home bargain, this one here on the grounds of where the old audience cinema used to stand. So I'll just show you a sort of footage, but you know the before, during, and after. And it's the Dundee Start Leisure Park. It was going to be opening on Saturday, December 2023. Today's date is the 30th of November, 2023. Um, so this is like the earliest. Well, this is the only time I could get to it before it opens, because I'm working tomorrow. So I could show you just shortly before it actually opens. It'll be a historical event, it'll be the Saturday, the 2nd of December. And this, as I said, made way for the once Audion cinema. <coughs> and just down from it, that used to be a Tesco's at one time. The old building was used for many things, and it's currently a range. This is completely built from scratch. And this will be the, <coughs> the the garden world, the exterior buildings, the exterior from the building. The cinema building actually stretched further than that. The, the building was bigger. It stretched all the way from the entrance to about here. It was a big cinema. Well. For the cinema nowadays, it wasn't uh, relatively big, it was about four screens. I think it was four, maybe five screens. I think the average cinema now has got about ten screens or something. Nine, ten screens. Maybe even, well, some of them have got even more than that. But for the building, for this area, in the Start Leisure, it was a relatively big building. It stretched quite a bit. Um, but this exterior bit is just used for the garden world. I haven't been in it yet, it's not opening until Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to go, I'll probably go Saturday, I'll see how I feel, I've got other things on. There's not really much to, I mean, I don't know if I'm having a launch or whatever they're doing for it, but it's opening this Saturday anyway, it's, I can't really see much uh, more than any point really. Um, it's just to show you what was there before, this is the audience show you what it looked like, show you it being demolished, show you this being built and show you it finished. It's the catalogue, the timeline of events as to uh, what happened in this particular area to the Start Leisure Park. I think at the moment the staff's still getting trained up before the place actually opened. They're still recruiting in that, so... See, I'm just sort of getting stuff prepared for the, the grand opening, I suppose, on the Saturday. So this particular area used to come to this 
area to get the demolition work. Uh, this was a, one of the spots that I used to do a lot of filming uh, to capture the footage of the demolition work of the old cinema. So I'm just going to retract these steps and do the update video here from where I was at back then. And this is where the back of the cinema was. So the, the general positioning is roughly the same. The main entrance is going to be at the start leisure part site. So they've kept that original. You know, that would be the obvious choice, wouldn't it? Because that's the main step, is it? And then the delivery slip road coming down for, you know, service vehicles, where it was a cinema, and of course the service vehicles and delivery vehicles. It's still the original concept there, because it sits on the same plan. It's still part of the start leisure park, so the, the building orientation will be the same as that of the cinema. It's got the same sort of colour of bricks as the original cinema as well to follow the theme of the Start Leisure Park but it doesn't have that pattern on it <coughs> like what you saw in the bingo building and the, you know, the sort of coxes stack, the pattern that's on it or the buildings, the original ones that were built had that pattern put on it but this, I can't see it on there so far so it doesn't appear to have the patterns And that's the patterns that I was referring to, it's the uh, patterns on Cox's stack. Well, the buildings that were built here in the 90s uh, had these patterns put on them uh, to basically resemble the patterns that are on the original Cox's stack chimney. Although this new building has the same colour of brick this is what the old cinema had. It doesn't appear to have these patterns on them for some reason. I don't know why. I thought they might have put it on, but they haven't. So I don't know the reason why they haven't done that. Well, this is this is uh, this was a spot where I had done a lot of filming during the demolition work, and I even got pictures before the demolish, demolition work happened of the cinema at this area. I covered it on a, a bit, an early video of mine the way back. 2020, uh, it was called Closed Down Streets and Forgotten Streets of Dundee. If I remember, I'll stick the link in the description if you want to see that. And that big tank will be probably for the heating, I think. I'm going to guess it's to do with the gas heating or something or something along those lines and I'm not sure it'll be probably something to do with the heating I'm gonna guess it's something to do with the boiler system I'll probably be all the modern uh, thermal efficient heating and you know for the environment all the all that stuff. It's just to show you how cold it is today by the way. <laughs> it's freezing. It's absolutely freezing. So I hope the heating works. <laughs> so at some stage I'll get inside and try it out and buy stuff. I mean I'm not gonna video of that. It's, I don't see there's gonna be a, a great deal of excitement on it and opening day. I don't really know what they've got planned for it. I reckon it'll just open like any other day on the day of opening, the grand opening. So there's not really much point in filming anything. I don't think there's going to be a big ceremony. I wouldn't have thought just to open the home bargains. Uh, I've got other things to do, but I'm logging this in anyway. So 30th, this is the current state, the current situation at the area where the old audience cinema stood on the 30th of November 2023. And this is the patterns I was talking about that were built on the buildings during the 90s to resemble the Cox's stack patterns. Like I say, I, didn't, I don't seem to see any on the new building for the home bargains. Although the theme is very similar, it has the darker bit 
the brickwork at the bottom is darker, the light bricks at the above that, that seems to follow on this design. It seems to have that at least, but it just doesn't have the patterns like that on this building for whatever reason. So, oh, I believe that the old home bargains that's in the, the old Zap Zone building over there, I believe that will be shutting the same day this one opens. So, that'll be that. I don't know what they'll do with the building, with the old home bargains. I don't know what the plans are yet. And that's exactly where the old entrance was for the the old audience cinema that once stood on this ground. Okay, so that's a wee update anyway. Uh, that's probably all that's going to happen though for a while. If I remember, I'll, well, I'm aiming to make, as I say, a before, during and after on this video, so if I get around to it, I'll get that compelled up and put on here, which will include the footage before it was demolished, the old cinema, during the demo, well, one last look inside, during, so there'll be the, before the demolition begins, there'll be a look inside before it's demolished completely, then there'll be footage of the dem demolition work, then there'll be footage of this, during its construction, uh, there'll be footage as it is now. So it'll be a bit of a timeline video, this will be. That's my aim anyway, so... It just depends on the time and what I've got. If I remember, I'll try and stick a link in the description to that video. The Forgotten Streets of Dundee closed down buildings. I made that video three years ago. So Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.